I guess a lot of money is spent on big physics projects. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN is the highest profile one, costing billions of pounds, and it's understandable, particularly these days when money is tight and, and being squeezed. And then, you know, you, you see, you know, charity campaigns like um, Sport Relief, you know, where you're trying to raise money to prevent what, what are essentially curable diseases in the third world. You, you can justifiably ask the question, are we point, putting our research money in the right, in the right place? Um, fundamental research, blue sky research, is about mankind's curiosity about the world we live in. And we don't do that sort of research with an end application in mind. There have been occasions where we've made a great leap forward in our understanding that will have changed our lives maybe a hundred years later. Faraday messing around with electric coils and magnets wasn't doing it because of we're going to have you know modern electronics and television sets coming up. You know he was doing it because he wanted to understand the world. And even today, the big uh, research projects like searching for the Higgs boson at the CERN uh, at, at Large Hadron Collider at CERN, we don't know what it might lead to. Physicists at CERN will always, if you push them, they'll say, ah, yeah, but, you know, we discovered, we, we invented the World Wide Web um, at CERN, which is very true. You know, it was CERN physicists trying to find a way of um, exchanging large amounts of data and being connected up in a network that led them to, to come up with the World Wide Web. And look how that's transformed the world. I think the days of the naive scientist are long gone. If we think back, the most famous example was the physicists working on the Manhattan Project uh, in Los Alamos building the atom bomb. Now, they argued at the time, of course, that, that was a very different situation with the war, and they were worried about the threat of the Germans building the atom bomb as well. But what they argued at the time was, look, we, we want to unlock the, the energy in, within atomic nuclei, and that's all we care about. Of course, that's a very naive point of view, and many of those scientists themselves subsequently regretted the work they did. I think times have changed. I think scientists now are much more aware that we all have to be more um, cognizant of the ethical and moral implications of what we do. It's not just uh, the scientists you know, working on nuclear power or GM food or, 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 or medical research. I think all scientists need to be able to justify what they do justify their research funding to the wider public who after all fund their research and to themselves you know it's 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 part of the makeup of a modern scientist that we have to feel comfortable about the research that we're doing